think it's absolutely awesome. Yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's an absolute beast. The amount of brain power that's gone into this thing and continues to go into this boat to make it perform at its optimum potential is, is mind-blowing. It is fantastic when the America's Cup really makes those big bounds to do new things. Forcing sailors and designers to really think outside the box is what makes it so special. I'm the, the pilot or the flight controller on the boat. So I'm basically responsible for keeping the boat out of the water, um, controlling the foils, you know, and having that kind of instinct and that intuition of how the boat is kind of performing and what it's going to do next at any given time. Working very closely with the helm and, and the main trimmers and, and the other trimmers on the boat to make sure that you're all kind of in unison is going to be a big part of this America's Cup. Real funky here. The thing about sailing is, you know, perfection is never there. It's because it's always changing. You're dealing with changing winds, changing sea states. So you've got to adapt at all times. And, and so having a group of guys that can do that is, is critical. And that's what's exciting about this, this kind of challenge. Look at that, 50 to 400 in no time. Really disappointing for the Brits. We knew from a long way out that we were on the back foot in Bermuda. What was incredibly kind of impressive about what we actually got out of that was the fact that no matter how big the gap was, we never gave up on actually breaking that down. And we went into the America's Cup on day one and we started beating teams that we hadn't beaten in the, in the eight months building up to that. Nice work, guys. Awesome race. Turning up. We'd actually made massive gains forward and that was just down to the absolute determination of everyone involved in that team. It was exhausting for everyone, there's no doubt about that. Um, but it allowed us to kind of really see how hard we could all push ourselves to make sure that we didn't just give up. So it was invaluable having that experience and knowing that's where we've got to go to, to have a chance of delivering success. That was a nice looking tack, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, I'm incredibly patriotic so for me it's a huge drive behind the flag and you know this competition that started around the island I grew up on. It's been kind of in the back of my mind really is for as long as I can remember um, the history behind the cup and, and kind of following it over the years so going to New Zealand and, and kind of trying to, to win that cup for Queen and Country is uh, yeah, a great honour so you know incredibly driven to, to deliver.